Hey everyone, and welcome back. So today we're going to be reviewing Chefy Chef on the Nintendo Switch. Now this game is a 2D puzzle platformer with some slight Metroidvania elements that just released on May 6th of 2022 and currently sells for $4.99 on the Nintendo Switch eShop. Now the game is published by Radalika Games, but it was developed by Bug Studio, and it has a download size of only 45 megabytes. So today we're going to try and figure out if this budget 2D platformer is worth picking up or not. Now do remember that if you appreciate the content, one of the best ways to support the channel is just to hit that like button. So first of all, if we start out with the storyline, the only thing you get here is a very short and brief cutscene at the beginning of the gameplay. It sets up the overall story where you play as a chef named Sheffy whose favorite recipe is pineapple radish salad. When he approaches his refrigerator to recreate his favorite meal, he's unfortunately magically transported to a brand new world. Now from here on out, Sheffy is stuck recreating his favorite recipe by collecting the ingredients in each and every level and then making his way to the exit. Now other than this very short and brief cutscene, there really is no storyline within the game. But in all honesty, I don't really think this game suffered from it and it wasn't what it was aiming for. Based on that, let's jump straight into the gameplay. Now, as I said in the beginning introduction to the game, this is a 2D action platformer with slight Metroidvania elements. Now, as you make your way through the first 10 levels, you will be gradually introduced to these mechanics. And in the end, what you're presented with is that each level of the game is like a self-contained micro metroidvania because your primary objective is to collect the three ingredients and then make your way to the exit. However, to do so within each level, you'll have to first collect between one and three different special abilities. And in each brand new level of the game, you are starting from scratch with all your abilities removed that have to be recovered yet again. And that is why I said as earlier, each level has to be approached as a micro metroidvania. Ultimately, however, I would say that this gives a feeling more of a puzzle platformer than an overall metroidvania. And the overall feeling I had while playing through it felt a lot more accustomed to something like Daddish. Now the game here offers 60 different levels broken up into three different biomes. Each new biome will introduce a brand new obstacle that will modify the gameplay somewhat. Now other than collecting the main three ingredients, there's also a hidden secret burger in each level. Now this is a side and optional objective, however collecting those burgers will unlock new cosmetic options to personalize Sheffy. And this works out to individually being able to customize the color of his apron and hat, also the color of his eyebrows and mustache, and lastly the color of his pants and shirt. Now I was happy to see this additional little extra side objective and it really does help in extend the overall gameplay. Now although each individual level can be completed pretty quickly, as a whole I would say that most people will enjoy between 3-5 to five hours of gameplay to complete this game. Now if I had to make any complaints here, I would only have two that I can mention gameplay wise. First of all, rather than three biomes of 20 levels each, I would have really preferred to see four biomes split into 15 levels each. It's simply because at the end of 20 levels with the exact same type of environment, it does slightly become repetitive towards the end. Now simply by shortening that by about five levels per biome and introducing a fourth new mechanic would have really given the game an even better flow than it already has. And secondly, my bigger gripe is that there are no boss fights throughout the whole gameplay and they would really fit in very well to the overall style of game here. Now don't get me wrong, overall the gameplay loop is very satisfying and at a budget price of only $5 I am nonetheless very satisfied by what I got. They just could have made it even better because the overall gameplay setup here and the awesome mechanics that they introduced could really turn into some awesome little boss levels. Those are just maybe a couple of takeaways just in case the developer ever decides to make a sequel. Now if we move on to the controls. Now control wise you get exactly what you expect from a 2D platformer and you do have the option to choose between the D-pad for basic movement or the left joystick. Now the only innate ability that Sheffy has is the ability to jump or double jump. 
After that, the three other abilities that Sheffy can have are going to have to be picked up throughout the level. Picking up the knives gives you the ability to throw them at enemies and destroy them, or to wall climb. Collecting the hammer will give you a higher vertical jump, or the ability to jump on spikes. And lastly, the frying pan will give you the ability to toss it and teleport to its location while it's in the air. This will also be needed for traversing certain obstacles that the frying pan will be able to go through. Now, as mentioned earlier, what is very original and that really helps the gameplay here is that each level these abilities have to be collected anew. And not every level is going to offer you all three abilities. Which means that sometimes you'll have to do some fast thinking in how to use the abilities in different ways. Now, in the responsiveness department, everything is very crisp and very tight here. Overall, it's a very simple and straightforward control scheme and fits the game perfectly. Now we're moving on to the graphics and sound. So if we start with the graphics, this is using 2D pixel art. And I've got to say, I actually like the basic visual appeal, both of the design around the main character, Sheffy, and also the overall environments. The use of nice bright colors was very well chosen. And overall, visually, all the different elements of the environments really do stand out. You can easily tell what's an enemy, what's a trap, and what's a platform. Now, on the slightly negative side, however, I do have to say there's quite a few recycled assets. And even though the biomes do ultimately change, most of the basic assets remain the same. The most obvious change between one biome and another is a color palette swap. Now, this is to be expected from a $5 budget indie title. But it is something to keep in mind as you move your way through the game, because don't expect any huge visual changes. Now, sound-wise, for me, it was maybe one of the weakest elements of the game. The reason why is that you overall have only three different tracks, each one for each new biome. And that sort of refers to my earlier point. By the 20th level with the exact same track, it does start to be repetitive. Another reason why four different biomes with 15 levels and four different tracks would have just felt a little bit better. But overall, individually, the tracks themselves are of pretty decent quality and do fit the gameplay very well. It's just, however, that if you do like me and you decide to play the whole game in just one sitting, by the end of it, those tracks will feel overused. But overall, visually and sound-wise, once again, for a $5 budget indie title, all of this is perfectly acceptable, and I would say, nonetheless, are better than I was expecting. So now we get to the verdict. And if this is the first time watching one of my reviews, my whole review scale is down below in the description of the video. And in the case of Chefy Chef on the Nintendo Switch, I'm going to be giving this game a 7.5, putting it at the high end of a good game. Now, as I pretty much hinted through throughout the whole review, for a $5 budget indie title, you are definitely getting your money's worth here. If you're a fan of 2D puzzle platformers or 2D action platformers with a simple straightforward premise, I definitely think you should be picking up this game. As I said earlier, all the basic elements are there. You have a very fun gameplay loop, you have some nice clean visuals, you have a pretty decent soundtrack, although slightly repetitive, and between 3-5 to five hours of gameplay for a $5 game is very respectable. In reality, the only thing preventing this game from hitting a great game at 8 or higher was that slight repetitive and the lack of boss fights. If those two little elements were there, this game would automatically almost hit a hidden gem territory. So I don't know if you can tell, but overall I actually really like this game and I just wish those two little things were there so I could have even given it a higher score. So now I turn the question over to all of you. Are you going to be picking up Chefy Chef on the Nintendo Switch? let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget on the way out that if you did appreciate the content, to consider hitting that like button to support the channel, subscribing if you aren't already, and clicking on the notification bell so you know when all my future content comes out. And as usual, I hope I'll see all of you in my next video.